Unfortunately, this video, like the last one, has a bit of an issue with the camera being shaken all over the place. If you get motion sick, probably don't want to watch this video. I need to figure out some sort of stabilized camera setup uh, for these types of things because even editing and watching this video makes my head just hurt. So sorry about it, but uh, you can skip through and see a few real world scenarios of the Permobile M3. Enjoy! So out here today again at Fano Creek Park or Fano Creek Trail or Greenway Park or whatever they call this, uh, Dave has gotten himself another loaner and it's a chair I've actually not seen before. It's the new Permobile M3. Not to be confused with the M300 that they made a few years ago. I personally have not seen one of these chairs yet. Um, he should be here pretty soon and uh, we're gonna do some testing. All right, so it's actually called Fano Creek Trail. So it's interesting that this one has these tires that look something like a uh, someone from the drifter world in their Honda Civic would have. Like the wheels are way wider than tires and like the cast is just stretched out. I'm curious to see if the suspension is better than... Oh, uh, it, it rides smoother. Yeah. It's Although this is the slowest chair I have at 5.9 miles an hour. Yeah. Alright, here's some slight bumps. Yeah, it looks like it tracks pretty good. The controller is not set up exactly like mine. It seems like there's still some uh, some right and left sensitivity when you're going at full speed. Yeah. But nothing like the, uh, uh, the drive. The quantum. the quantum, yeah. Well, this one just looks a lot more stable in general. Just like seeing you move. Well, I mean, yeah, because with the other chair, you had to have your feet out pretty far. Yeah. That's cool. This one doesn't do that now. If, that was one of the major complaints. And it will go 3.2 miles an hour um, in my tw in the 12 inch uh, lift. Lift, yeah. Well, I guess you have more stability with a six wheel chair yeah. as far as running right, around with the elevator. That's why I think the F series won't, you know, is still limited to, I don't know, a mile or two miles an hour. Uh, Let's see how it does on a. Uh, Looks like it smooths out when you go a little faster. Yeah. Still better than uh, an M300 would have been. Yeah, your feet are way far further in than they used to be. Yeah, we're in uncharted territory for me. See, so this goes all the way down to Tigard? Yeah. Nice. I haven't been all the way to Tigard. I have been down to like, I don't know, a road like another mile from here or something like that. It's weird there's not people camping under this bridge. Yeah. So, where the heck are we at? Black Diamond? What? We're at Schultz Ferry there. Oh, so we're at the top of the map and it goes all the way yeah. to somewhere. Sweet. Go down to I Woodward think, Park. I think I went down to this North Dakota. Okay. So, I'm going to go ahead and venture a guess that that thing has the stabilizer. Because as straight as you were going over those, uh -huh. makes me think it's got to have it. <laughs> yeah, it's just right on the back left corner if it's got it. I can't tell if these are piles of moss or actual ducks. Oh look, they're ducks. They obviously have seen a person or like several thousand. Yeah, they're not phased by us being here. Not at all. They're still hunkered down. Whack. Oh look, all his legs just like sticking out. Yeah. It, they look like it got legs like it had a leg like I'm pretty sure it doesn't. Yeah. What's up there little guy? What are you doing? Just like leave me alone. Oh, yep, his leg's fine. <laughs> this one looks like a magician. Like the he's way it's sleeping. got the way he's got his face under his feathers yeah. there. Yeah. It's gonna surprise us with a trick. I do that sometimes too. That looks like over to the right is maybe where it goes. Well, it's nice to know this connects now because the west uh, train stops right down here in uh, Tigard. Okay. 
What are they doing? The following request engineers for conditional use permit, sensitive lands, blah, blah, blah. To realign existing trail, 600 linear feet of 10 foot wide. No, so they're gonna move it somewhere. <laughs> sure, I'm all for that. Because they don't wanna uh, make the land angry. Apparently there's some sort of party down this direction. We'll have to go down there. Ooh, ADA outhouse. Glad you made it. Welcome. Hmm. I think we missed the party. Maybe it's this old falling down shed. We're supposed to go in there. Seems to be some communication on the sidewalk. Uh, because God loves us, he gave us families and prophets. Oh, and then there's like a silhouette of someone that's been chalk outlined here on the ground. Yeah. Someone died here. The zombies. <laughs> In the zombie apocalypse. Oh look, I think there's like a spray of acid coming down. And then this person's like, no! <laughs> the beavers have been chewing away at the bottom of that. We can hook a chain up and tip that over between the two of us, I think. See, all the hard work's been done. Right. Yeah, let's see. Uh, hit my hit at a full speed. Or whatever. <laughs> Just like it's not even there. Uh, it says left. It's in some random neighborhood now. Oh, that is one thing with the, the this controller right now, the way it's programmed. It takes a while to get up to speed. Been a while since I played on swings. Yeah. This is like when you're at the mall and you're trying to find the uh, cut rate jewelry shop. Yeah. They have the legend here. Quite a ways. Oh, or even. They even specifically said wheelchairs are allowed now. They have a little logo. Although it does say right under the wheelchair, the most walkable community in the Pacific Northwest. Oh, there's sand here. Where did that come from? <laughs> so this surface definitely reminds me of the uh, like automotive test tracks like yeah. Edmonds does or whatever to right. see what the suspension is. <laughs> a little bit of an exit ramp. Oh yeah, no problem. There's a little random viewing platform. I don't know if I would trust that. There's a pretty big, uh... <laughs> That's a big lip at the bottom to throw you out of your chair when you come down. Yay, I'm up here now. Not sure what the purpose of this is. Because I mean, that's not, <laughs> like, in my manual chair, that literally would... That would be, if I went down there and didn't like, like go super slow. You'd have to would, wheelie all I the would, way down that. I would, I would be freaking like, you know, launching out at the bottom and <laughs> skinning my knee. All right, so that's 4.7 miles. Has your battery gauge moved yet? Nope. Nice. Battery is still 100. Well, at least the bars haven't moved. I'm down one bar, but these batteries are really terrible. We'll have to come back out here later this week when it's like 110 degrees and see if we can fry an egg on this bridge. Because it's like half inch steel. I don't know why these are made of metal. It's just like they had random metal laying around. Hey, let's make a bridge. I mean, I can only imagine what that costs though. I, I know. I suppose it's cheaper than... I wonder if it was part of some industry or like company that used to be here on both sides of the river or something. So you know you go to the doctor and get stitches sometimes, and they use these little stick-on things? Well, the balconies on this place have those 
basically made of metal stitch looking things that are holding the uh, balconies from falling down. It's kind of weird. It says traffic signal under study for removal. And they duct taped up all the buttons. Yeah. All right, so we're at 6.7 miles. How's the battery? Full bars. Full bars, nice. Mine's down two bars, but my batteries, once again, are very crappy, so that stands the reason. Mine says 7.4. I have 7.7. .7. Seven point seven, and you're down one bar. Nice. I feel like the range is slightly better on this one. <laughs> Just a little bit. <laughs> we did it! Yay! All right, battery check. Yeah, so I'm I'm down two bars. Two bars. How many miles? Down two bars and Ten point two miles. Nice. Mine says nine point eight, but mine might not be correct. That's pretty awesome. And since my batteries are crappy, I'm all the way down to the bottom. I have three red bars left, so I'm pretty much dead for the day. But he can keep going. He's good to go. Yeah. So yeah. yeah that's awesome. M three. Awesome battery range. Over ten miles. Nice. So figure what we have this thing. We might as well dissect it and uh, see if we can figure out if it has the magical gyroscopes. Oh, yep, there it is. This little, I don't know if you can see it, but it's this box right here. Yeah. It's got two things plugged into it right by your circuit breaker. So yeah, you've got the uh, steering stabilization. Sweet. Yeah, so that's the 12 inch seat lift there. And you said you can move it like three miles an hour or something? 3.2. Nice. Give her a whirl. Nice. Yeah, it looks really solid. It's got full suspension. See, that's the other thing on the, the Quantum locks out its suspension. Yeah. Here. Plus it looks so much nicer and cleaner than the uh, other one. <laughs> Sweet. Yeah. Interior or forward tilt or whatever. Yeah. So in case you want to dump yourself out on the floor more effectively. Yeah, so you can go from there flat to Nice. That's cool. <laughs> I don't think I would use that, but... But it's definitely a feature. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's looking like the new Permobile M3 is actually going to be a pretty decent chair. They've uh, fixed a number of the issues that the old M300 had, and have made it a little bit better here and there. Unfortunately, my chair is now pretty much completely dead, so I'm going to have to leave it plugged in for a couple hours before I can go anywhere and do anything else for the day. But, uh... Probably a good time to get some lunch. Get some stuff in the freezer. So we've got another one of those Wheel Connect events today uh, down here at the Lucky Lab Brewery. Um, I wonder if I'm just taking the bus down here because Lyft is not exactly working right now. But uh, yeah, let's see if anyone's here a little bit early. Well, it was pretty fun. Uh, we had a, a good turnout of people there. Unfortunately, I stayed a little bit too late, and the last bus that gets me the rest of the way back to my place stopped running. Luckily, this chair got enough charge in two hours that I think we're all right. Uh, it's about three and a half miles from where the closest bus could get me. Almost there now. Uh, battery gauge is kind of low, but I think we're fine. Luckily, there isn't much traffic at this hour because the most direct route does not have sidewalks. There is a bike lane, but still. When there's traffic, it's kind of annoying to drive in the street. I'm just hoping they don't have the sidewalks blocked up here again. The last few nights they've got signs and uh, equipment on the sidewalks, so I don't have a lot of extra charge to waste, so hopefully uh, I can get through without too much of a detour, that is. It looks like they did pretty good tonight. None of the sidewalks are blocked, which makes sense. I've had to call every night 
for the last five nights to have him move something out of my path. All right, well, they're painting this place, left their equipment parked in the way. 